This episode of Zoocademy is brought to you by T-Mobile, who wish to inspire success while connecting our community to the wonders of wildlife. Hi, Ron McGill here with another edition of Zoocademy. Today we're talking about the meerkats. These are really popular animals, especially since the release of the film Lion King. We all remember Timon, right? These are actually very, very social animals. They can be found in, in groups that are called mobs. They can number anywhere from four to 40 animals. They are actually a relative of the mongoose, and these are Full-grown adults, there's some, there's some sub-adults in here, but they pretty much reach their maximum size. They are a very cooperative group of animals. They work cooperatively. They usually have a sentinel, which is an animal that will stand on its hind legs and look up in the sky because one of their main predators is actually eagles, hawks, and other birds of prey. So you'll see them constantly foraging, constantly looking for things. They feed on a wide variety of things, from eggs to lizards to insects to, to things like scorpions. They'll even take snakes. So they're very, very good hunters. They hunt cooperatively. They have a wide variety vocalizations that they use. You'll see if the sentinel goes up, he'll look up and if he sees something, he lets out this big beep, kind of a, a, a weird kind of vocalization and they'll all just run right into the burrows. They're really great excavators. They dig these very intricate burrows that have a, a system of tunnels and rooms in them. And those tunnels and rooms are really important because these guys are found in the southern portions of Africa in very, very arid climates that are very, very hot. So in those tunnels and in those rooms, it affords them a, a way to kind of cool off. As you can see, they're constantly foraging here because here at the zoo, we've created these enrichment tools, so to speak, where we have these logs and these pieces of bamboo that have holes drilled in them. But what the keepers have done is they put different types of meals in there, mealworms, insects, crickets like that. So what you see the meerkats doing is they're digging for that. They're working for that. It's a real important part of the enrichment of all the animals here in the zoo, where we try to keep them not only physically stimulated, but emotionally stimulated also. Now, these guys tend to be more of this orange color right now because they're kind of like in this orange clay. Since they're constantly digging and covering themselves up with the soil, they're usually the color of the soil that you see around them. Don't be misled by looking at them and think, oh, look, uh, Ron's in there with him. I want to have one as a pet. No, it couldn't be further from the truth. These guys can give you a really serious bite. And if you ever were to watch them hunt, you'd realize how effective a hunter they are. So they're really great hunters. Again, a system of tunnels. They're not endangered at all. They're fairly common in the regions that they're found in. Um, moms have anywhere usually between two and four babies. And the whole mob cares for the babies. So it's very cooperative, not only just in hunting and feeding, but in caring for the young. So when the young are born, mom will go out and hunt by herself. And you know, the aunts, the uncles, the brothers, and sisters, they'll all help take care of the babies. So they really are very, very active animals, one of the most cooperative groups of mammals in the world. And uh, here at the zoo, they're one of the most popular because as you can see, they're constantly very active. So what you can do is you can check on our Meerkam on our zoomiami.org website, and you can observe them and take observations about their behaviors yourself. That Meerkam is on 24 hours a day. Of course, you'll see them mostly in the daytime because that's when you have the light and that's when they're most active. But we hope you can do that. Check in on them, make notes on their behaviors, see what you observe. We'll see you the next time on Zoo Academy.